Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is voiceover Kira yet again and you will just see some normal gameplay in the back because today we are going to be going over the brand new leaks for the brand new dungeon here on Dungeon Quest. So we're just gonna not waste any time today and jump straight into it today because it looks like we could actually have a confirmed date for the update and it's so close. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it today. Update time is the best time as I have always said and it also gives me the best types of videos that I am able to do and a lot of research and everything for you guys. So today we have a new weapon leak as well as some messages going between some people over in the general chat over on the discord saying about when the update will be and we're going to be going over the timeline for when the next update could possibly be because last time we got a few of these leaks it was only a week before a dungeon or was released and it possibly could be sooner at this point in time so today before i jump into the full videos and the leaks the berry stuff does only have a limited time left in the cosmetic shop i'm not sure exactly when it is going to be leaving the cosmetic shop i'm not sure if it's going to be coming back to the cosmetic shop either so if you want to buy a berry stuff buy it while you can because i don't know when it's gonna leave and we need the panda onesies and the berry stuff just to have our amazing little army and maybe in the future we can make elves give us a um <laughs> a berry onesie that'd be cool but um i'm not pushing my luck so far so today if you don't already like follow all of these people over on twitter at the moment you possibly should because this is where i'm getting all of my information from so i'm following Vinny on twitter i'm following blacksmith on twitter i'm following drew on twitter because we have a lot of leaks that happen on the twitter side before they even get onto the discord or over here on youtube so Sometimes I'm a bit late, sometimes I am not. So, oh, what do I start off with today? Oh, do I jump straight into the weapon? I'm not sure. But, okay, I will just quickly say this. RDC is this week, so do not expect anything to happen uh, this weekend. I'm not sure if anything's going to be happening this weekend. It just does not look like it's going to be happening. But who knows at this point? So, what we have here is a brand new weapon leak so we have the forger of worlds aka blacksmith who's level 1800 and something in game uh he decided to tweet out a sneak peek and he tweets out saying here is a sneak peek at one of the new and upcoming weapons in a hashtag dungeon quest and adding a v kathy uh Vinny obviously retweeted this as well and hashtag Roblox dev, hashtag Roblox. So uh, this weapon is already giving us a few vibes of what's going to be happening. We're not sure if this is going to be a mage or a melee weapon. It's not possible to say at this point in time because we've had these types of weapons prior for both sides. So just a little sneak peek. But what can we see in this image right now? So we have a dual weapon with some handles, obviously. So great handles, a black type blade with green a shadowing and green like glowy things but we also have some thorns right thorns biggest thing that we can see on this weapon which is giving us something different so we have two thorns at the bottom of both uh swords swords technically are they technically dual weapons we'll just say that as well as we have like a little like crack or like i don't know what to call that possibly a vine actually yes oh my god it's a vine <gasps> I just, I just, okay, vine, vines and thorns, oh my goodness, I didn't even think of that before I even said that, so, see, this is what happens when I record, so we have the vines wrapping around a weapon as well as thorns, which gives, like, a type of, for me, personally, it gives off, like, the Maleficent slash Rapunzel original story type feel with the thorns and the vines, so my current theory on what the next dungeon is going to be is probably, like, magical type themed or, um, overgrown or in a forest oh my god imagine mary bush <laughs> but yeah we currently have like a thorny viney foresty type especially being green as well could also give a fact to the next theme for the dungeon and obviously this is the only weapon that we do currently have access to but never fear guys because last time we got the first weapon link it was only like one to two weeks before we actually got the update now this is where the next bit comes into play as i did say 
on the 9th to the 11th of August is RDC. So two and a half weeks ago, technically three weeks now by the time that uh, this is uploaded, we got the last Dungeon Quest update for the brand new Canals Dungeon. It has been out for three weeks now, almost a month, and it would kind of tie into what we would usually get as this weekend as an update, but I have not seen Vinny or Joey uh, on the development side at all, so I don't think it's gonna be coming this weekend or in between, anywhere between the next 48 hours, because as I have talked to Vinny, he is taking around a week off fully uh, just to be able to go to RDC and just rest a little bit and have some relaxation times. But I think the update may come the middle of next week or next weekend. Next weekend being the 17th and 18th of August. I only really say this mainly because of the timeline that we usually get for updates. We usually have been getting around months, in, a month in between every single dungeon, just kind of what we've been based off of in the, re the, in the recent ones, but we did get it released in the middle of the week last time, so could possibly be in the middle of next week as well, or the next week after that as well, just depending on how everything is done. Now, Drew did say on the general chat in the Dungeon Quest Discord saying, uh, when someone asked when the dungeon update will be, he said soon. Obviously, he is a modeler and an icon guy, so he can't really say anything personally about any of the updates. But we can say for sure that we will be getting an update soon. And I am super duper excited for that because if it's going to be like overgrown type, foresty type, magical vibes, I am going to love it. Imagine they trick us all again and it's actually going to be Crystal Cave this time, even though we won't even guess that, but who knows, you know, <laughs> that's just what happens when you're Kira and you're trying to make theory videos. But, um, yeah, so we have RDC very, very soon. And as I said, RDC is going to make all the developers go away. But the modelers did actually say that they were working on items. I'm not sure if they were supposed to say it, but they did. They said this in voice chats on the Discord, in public ones, as well as in the Discord text chat. They did say that they were working on items for the dungeon. Some of them actually said a lot of them were already done already, so a lot of the weapons already done. Apparently the armor is already done. Uh, cosmetics are possibly already done as well at this point in time, because as Els has said, they only take around five hours per cosmetic piece, um, or armor piece, technically. <laughs> in those types of stages so it looks like a lot of it's actually done and even the icon could be done at this time too because drew hasn't released anything yet but usually he is finished the logo a while before in case the changes need to be made so that's about all of the theories i really have for what we have received so far with this new weapon and here's another look at it it looks really cool i love the vines i love the thorns i love the how it's a dual weapon looks kind of like it'll be a melee type for this especially like depending on the types of dungeon that it could possibly be by my theory um i would say this is a melee but do not quote me on it i am just a person doing theories and especially when you have things just coming in the comment section like when's it coming i want to see new weapons new items obviously it is very very easy to level up in some of these dungeons because we only have two modes i personally would love to see um easy mode medium mode hard mode insane nightmare etc come back it gives a more wide variety of a leveling up system also extends levels out a bit more as well as gives you more loot to choose from and to go up in levels so obviously like winter had four or five stages to it and you could actually do it for so long and it got harder each time i liked that aspect and i really really wish it would come back personal preference though on those types of things but um yeah as i said that's basically everything for the current new update right now i i will update you obviously as soon as i get more updates but i'm not sure if we're going to be getting any while rdc is going on i do want to do some more theories on the new door in the um main lobby for dungeon quest because the excalibur could be a big part of this next dungeon it just we won't even know about it yet so that's crazy to think that the Excalibur could just be randomly added at any time and we have no idea about it because you're going to have to take a million and one steps to get to it. So, oh, oh, also, also, before I do anything else, I have my hands on a warrior set, which is the highest warrior set that you can possibly get in Dungeon Quest right now. I just need to get um, the weapon from my friend and then I will be able to show off the warrior. So if, for, if you wanted to see me go warrior again, you're going to see that in the next video. <laughs> so 
excited for that to test out the highest warrior set but at the same time not because <laughs> I don't like going warrior obviously a few of you actually didn't like that uh, you could hear my keyboard and my mouse um in yesterday's video I do need to get a new keyboard and new mouse uh ones that are a little more quiet and not broken because some of mine are actually broken like bits of my keyboard and mouse are broken actually no, my mouse that I'm using right now is like 12 years old don't question it <laughs> I just need to upgrade my stuff and I haven't been able to upgrade my stuff for a while because I've been saving for America, which is in November. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> let me know your theories for this next update down below purely based on this one weapon alone and the timeline that we currently have. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel or hit the notification bell if you'll be notified every single time I post a video or a stream. And yes, we hit 80,000 subscribers yesterday and I'm still so over the moon about it. And thank you so much for being here on my journey so far. And of course, thank you so much to the people on the screen now right now for being my current channel members. You guys are amazing. And if you want to learn how to become a channel member, just click the join button either down below or on my main channel page and yeah i hope you guys join my discord because we're gonna be doing our public movie night this weekend by the looks of it just so everyone is able to attend but yeah public movie night my discord this weekend join ahead because we're gonna need you there to have the movie vibes with us so yeah i hope you guys have a lovely day or night wherever you guys may be in the world and i'll see you guys in the next video or a stream bye guys